Yo, yo, how's it going guys? So I'm back in the workshop and today's little build project is going to be a fixed gear beater slash kind of grocery getter. Pretty much something that I'm happy just to lock up and not worry too much about. And also something with a nice more relaxed cruisy kind of upright position and also a front rack slash basket to help lug stuff around town. So the frame I picked up for the build is a 2001 Fuji track. I absolutely love the colorway on this model. Condition wise, it's definitely seen its fair share of use, which I think gives it that perfect beater bike look with a few good paint chips, scrapes, and the odd bit of rust, and a couple few small dings here and there, but nothing too major. It all seems pretty structurally sound. It's a 58 centimeter, which is a little bigger than I'd usually go for, but the top tube measures a little bit shorter at around 56, and I think with some nice swept back bars, it should hopefully work out well. So now moving on to the parts for the build, I've gone for mostly used parts and starting off with the Segino 75s. 165 millimeters. They are a little bit worn but they've still got loads of life left. A Salsa 48 tooth chainring should hopefully look quite nice matched up with the 75s. So Azumi super toughness chain. Segino 75 bottom bracket to match the crank set. Nitto quill stem, which I think is 70 millimeters with a 25.4 bar clamp. Fuji seat post. This one came with the frame when I bought it, 26.8 millimeters. I managed to find this pretty rad old red titanium flight saddle. Looks like it was made in 99, so only two years older than the frame. These are the bars I've gone for. I'm unsure what brand they are as I pulled them out of the parts bin. They seem to have a nice bit of back sweep and rise to them, so I'm pretty keen to test these out. Some MKS GR9 pedals. They've got all city cages and some cadence double straps. Now moving on to the wheels, I've got this nice set of Grand Comp hubs. That are laced up to some D-stickered Mavic Open Pros. I've already got the tires fitted as I had to work out the widest I could go and on the front is a 28C gator skin and on the rear I've gone for a 32 and I've gone for a 16 tooth cog. And for the front rack slash basket I've gone for this walled basket which I think is the 137 model. It's pretty simple and fairly inexpensive what it actually is. It mounts to the handlebars and has these big rubber shims and it can also be mounted to your axle which makes it nice and simple and perfect for fixed gear. This rack is second hand so it does have some odd bolts and a little bit of patina but it should hopefully do the trick. I've been pretty damn excited about this build for a little while now so let's get into it. So I just noticed this kind of weird NJS stamp, looks a little bit different to the ones I've seen before on bottom brackets, it almost looks like it's laser etched instead of stamped, let me know what you guys think.
So here I'm just using a little bit of hairspray. I just spray it on the bars and inside the grip and it helps slide them on really easily. And then when it dries up, it's nice and grippy. So I've just fitted the rack and I've noticed that it's not quite sitting flush on the dropout and that's because of these little tiny safety notches that are on the bottom of the dropout. So if I was to tighten it down now it would probably bend the rack arms and not sit very well and probably be a little bit sketchy which is no good. So I think I'll try and find some spaces to fill the gap. So I've found one now, looks like it should be thick enough. That looks like it's gonna work out quite nicely. So now let's see if we can find another one. There we go. Looks like the matching one too, perfect. That worked out really well, just had enough length on the axle to fit, pretty perfect. So I'm pretty happy with how it's looking so far. The rack's worked out really well. Really like the angle of how it sits nice and flush. Um, it sits quite closely and tightly to the wheel and the head tube. And I also quite like the look of the bars. I may just need to adjust them down a little bit, but yeah, pretty stoked so far.
So I wanted a way to keep stuff in the basket and I did think about using some inner tubes as a nice cheaper option but I ended up finding this pretty awesome cargo net from Blue Lug. I think they make these in-house which is pretty sweet and it looks about the perfect size to fit this basket. It's got these two plastic clips which can either fit on your handlebars which is pretty sweet or the rack and then the other side has these two nice metal carabiner style clips which look pretty solid. So let's chuck it on now and see how it fits. So I guess this way around you could carry a nice big load by clipping it to your handlebars but it sits quite high up so I'll spin it around and put it nice and tightly on the rack and see how it fits. And yeah, it looks like it fits pretty perfect, so pretty happy with this. It's got quite a nice elastic stretch to it to keep things held in, so let's test it out with a random box that I got. And yeah, it looks like it fits pretty well. Also got room just in case you need to carry some vintage Suzu hubs too. But yeah, pretty happy with the size. It looks like you'll be able to carry all sorts of stuff in here with this basket and strap. So yeah, pretty stoked. Now that pretty much wraps up the build. I'm really excited to test this thing out. This will probably be my go-to for a little while and I'm super happy with how it's turned out. And I really like the color scheme of the frame. Let me know what you guys think of it. And yeah, if anyone saw this stem in the background, yes, I definitely did think about using this altar stem. And to be honest, like the colors match this bike perfectly. But um, yeah, unfortunately I don't have a stem adapter to try it out and also no bar shims, but hey, I might try this one out in the future after I've ridden it for a bit. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching guys. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Now let's take this thing out for a rip. Peace.